Nicaragua is a land of lakes, volcanoes, and steady winds. But the Central American nation has no oil. And eight or nine years ago, that meant big problems. So we had about eight to ten hour a day uh, blackouts throughout the country. The energy sector was in, basically in a financial crisis and very little investment was coming into the country back then. President Daniel Ortega made an ambitious goal to transition Nicaragua from fossil fuels to renewable or green energy. He invited companies to set up hydroelectric projects and wind farms to take advantage of the steady breezes in the country. Geothermal plants using underground heat in this volcanic nation also went up. So did biomass plants that turned sugarcane pulp into electricity. So by doing that, we made investments more attractive in the sector. We established a portfolio of prioritized projects so that there was a clear picture of what the government would support for investors. And we um, began a very aggressive process of promoting the country uh, to potential investors in the region, in Nicaragua, and around the world. And Nicaragua has a 1500 megawatt geothermal potential. We are strategically located in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, this, uh, it's clean energy that comes straight from the earth. Uh, it's a closed circuit as we were able to observe in, in our site visit. We extract vapor and we re-inject brine into the resource to ensure its sustainability over the next 25 to 30 years. So considering the the potential, the, the financial attractiveness of the project and the fact that it's a completely uh, ecological green project. Uh, geothermal is, uh, could be a game changer for Nicaragua if proper investment is put in. We have all the natural resources to be able to uh, become a first world country, to uh, beat misery and poverty uh, and become an exporter. In the, in the global world for energy. So as you've mentioned, we have a diversity of energy sources, which we are currently exploiting and continue planning to exploit. Uh, but geothermal is, uh, geothermal and hydro, I would say, are basically at the top of the list. And by 2020, we expect to achieve 90% renewable mm -hmm. generation in the country. Okay. It is definitely a success story worldwide when you hear of a country that's able to change its uh, generation matrix in such a dramatic fashion in such a short period of time. And I think that Nicaragua can and should serve as an example to different countries in the region and also around the world that this is achievable.